Today I have a few tips for you that will help make a small bathroom like mine look and feel just a little bit bigger without costing you a lot of money. This medicine cabinet provides a lot of storage in this small bathroom, but I also realized since it's so big, it cuts off the light from the fixture over the sink and just makes the room feel more closed off. I also realized that most of the stuff I had in here, I didn't use every day, so that meant I could relocate it to my hallway closet. Now I can take this bad boy out and put open shelving in its place. So first I run a razor knife along the outline of the cabinet to score any caulk, and then I'm able to back out the two screws holding it in place. I'm not even sure if the wall is painted behind the cabinet. I guess I'll find out soon enough. Oh man, there's still a little bit of work to do, but not too bad, just a little bit of paint. Before I touch up the wall behind the cabinet, I'm also removing my towel bar, toilet paper holder, and hand towel ring. They'll be getting an update too. Use a putty knife or drywall knife to knock off any excess cog or drywall near the holes. Clearly they didn't sand this drywall compound because they knew it was going to be behind the medicine cabinet, but now that it's exposed, I want to sand it smooth. And so here's a tip for you, whether you're sanding a little or a lot of drywall mud, you want to make sure to use a shop vac and try and suck up as much of that dust as you're sanding as possible, otherwise it will literally get all over your house. It's true, this dust is lightweight and can travel fast. Once everything is prepped, I'm filling in the old hardware holes and any other rough spots behind the cabinet with joint compound, or drywall mud as I like to call it. This particular brand goes on paint and turns white when it's dry. Again, use a drywall knife or putty knife here to remove excess joint compound so that there's less to sand when it's dry. If the hole is bigger than a pencil eraser, what I like to do is stuff a piece of paper or paper towel in it to give the drywall mud something to stick to. Since I'm already working in the bathroom, I thought I would go ahead and update my cabinet hardware. I only have five knobs left on the vanity, and so I picked up some inexpensive bar knobs to put on them to match my new toilet paper holder and towel bar. To make them match even further though, I also picked up some washers. So I'll install them behind the knob just like this. So now I just need to spray paint them and then they'll really match. Once the wall is dry, sand it smooth, clean the surface, and prime any unprimed drywall before moving on to painting your wall color. I'm using a small roller to help give the walls texture to match the existing painted walls. Here's another tip to help your small bathroom feel bigger. Paint with light and bright colors, that way it doesn't feel like a cave. your towel bar doesn't exactly make your room look bigger, but using materials that are modern and trendy can distract from how small your bathroom is. I always like to upgrade my drywall anchors to something more substantial. The small plastic ones aren't rated for much weight and end up pulling out of the wall over time. And that's especially important when you're hanging shelves. All right, these shelves are gonna let so much more light just get to this area of the room and make it feel so much bigger. Plus, they're so much more attractive than an old-fashioned medicine cabinet. The last tip to make your bathroom feel bigger is to hang your shower curtain as close to the ceiling as possible. If your vent fan isn't in the shower, make sure that you do leave a little bit of room for the air to flow. For eight-foot ceilings, I like to buy 96-inch cotton curtains. Then I wash them in hot water and dry on high heat to shrink them to the right size. There you go, it's light, bright, and open, even though it's still small. But I think the open shelves will motivate me to help keep the clutter down. Thanks for checking in. I've got so many projects to share with you, so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss my next episode.